Greetings everyone, and great here with another Cup Heroes 1 replay as well on the top left side as the US forces. We have a light number one fan spawn bottom right side as the Shim as Shimbogan. As the Panzer League player, we have Lexi Hartman. Wait, and Shimbogan's actually less common uh vehicle that they use. And we got Incendio traps immediately being deployed on the field, so we do have Scorch Earth being selected. Interesting. The incendiary trap does act like a landmine, so it can be triggered and placed anywhere. It's generally hit or miss. It does, if I remember correctly as well, when it detonates fires, it makes three incendiary effects, but has pretty wide scatter and it's a little bit inconsistent sometimes. But this should be a bit interesting. We've got Panzer Grandiers deployed on the field. And these things, incendiary traps, they're, I forget how expensive they are, but I think they are a little bit on the cheap side. I have seen it such a little. Only time I've ever seen those being plot of field is usually those uh, more memeish uh, replays by was a Coda Chrome, which tends to span those out and Burgantigas. Somehow works. Engineers does capture the fuel point there. We do got the Shim two Shimvagans to plot on the field. Interesting. Deep advance and forward. We'll spot the Shimvagan or Shimvagan. How you pronounce that anyways? Shervin? Shervin? Vagen? I don't know. I know the W sound makes more like a V sound, isn't it? No, that's the F like in Volks. Makes it more of Volks. But the W makes more of a V sound, right? I'm overthinking it. Hans Grandier is pushing away forward, trying to get some hits there onto the Jeep. Jeep is backing on off. And we do have a... Look, that's the same Shimvagen there. So it looks like there's two Pants Grandiers on the field. Two Shimvagens. This one's a little bit damaged. And it's going to be capturing it up and getting repaired at the same time. Oh, I heard... Those in the Jeep does say hi to the Pants Grandiers. The Pants Grandiers saying hi back with bullets or pellets of friendliness. Riflemen moving around. We do have the Cindy Trap has some spotted there, and I think the one of the engineers did burn up quite a bit. Seeing there's only two models remaining. I don't see engineer model there, however. He may run away and burn and burn to death somewhere. I don't think the Panzer Grenadier has gotten damage from him, so it had to have been from the Cindy Trap. Panzer Grenadier is advancing forward, trying to get some good damage down the engineers. And does fall back to that squad now. Munition sector has been recaptured. Time to bring this face in forward and knock out the Shimvagans, capturing some more points. So we've got both Shimvagans in this area. This is one that has the more help. This Panzer Grenadier will potentially get a volley on this Jeep. He may want to inside this garrison. Does get inside this garrison. Currently, there's one, two windows, or just one window on the side. Two guys will be hitting the Jeep. You may want to focus fire the Jeep there. He can get three windows firing on that side. Maybe this one's at a bad angle. But now got the striking squad and a good garrison to fight from. There's five windows on that side to fire from. And the last guy is gonna take some pop shots over here. Fresh rifleman squad make its way forward. We got engineers capturing up this uh point back there. And the Jeep is moving around back. I was gonna receive a bit of fire. And now they're gonna make their advance, perhaps eyeing for that heavy cover there. Rifleman are behind the heavy cover there. We've got the Rifleman and these Panzer Grenadiers starting to engage. The Rifleman's advancing forward. I'm trying to get both engagements in view. Rifleman still behind some heavy cover there. Gaining some good hits. This Panzer Grenadier needs advancing forward. There's five space points of heavy cover there. This Panzer Grenadier does follow that garrison. It wasn't exactly a good spot for them to fight from. Rifleman squad advancing forward. Received quite a bit of damage from this guy here. And he is in open ground. Not necessarily negative cover though. And the other Panzer Grenadier squad falls back. This one may want to fall back nice and early because he's just far, far outnumbered. He will get minimal damage done. And receive quite a bit of damage right there. Another city trap has been found. And just, oh, get nice and toasty there. And we do now this Panzer Grenadier squad engaging this engineer at close range. Let's go and revert the camera back to normal for the time being. I don't know if people actually enjoy those unique camera angles. Get a nice cinematic approach, watch pan the camera around as they start fighting. I'm not sure if people actually enjoy that. <laughs> it may be a bit disorienting seeing the map in an uh, angle like that, because I know whenever I 
accidentally change the angle slightly, it really throws me off. Incendiary Grenade has been researched and thrown by the Panzer Grenadiers, and does force these Panzer Grenadiers into his own Incendiary Grenade there with the Schimmwagen. Rifleman, Veteran C1 now available out in the field. Three rocket squads are here. Does have two and squads and one model firing. Seven models. 13 models, that's probably why I should describe it. And now there's 12 models, which basically assumes two riflemen squads there. And the Panzer Grenadiers see quite a bit of damage there, does fall back. And this is the problem as well. If you can fight in these uh, bad matchups, ooh, lose that squad entirely. Find these bad matchups like that, you won't deal as much damage. You'll be quickly forced back, gain minimal damage, and will be forced back. In a 2v1 situation, you won't form, it will not be an equal trade. It will be a 75% versus 25% win. That's the best way I, how I can describe it sometimes. If it was an even equal playing field. And these riflemen squads do fall back there. Schirmwagen getting repaired on up as captured with the munitions sector and got this Schirmwagen captured this fuel sector. I think the best way to describe the concept I'm trying to refer to is there's a video by Spirit of the Law, which is a Age of Powers 2, uh, not necessarily like replay streamer, but just info, info, uh, Age of Powers 2 info person. And he does have a video about that to explain about that concept. Which I forget what's called, and that's probably very, very obscure for me to say this. <laughs> Rifle squad does fall back there, and this Rifle squad does fully withdraw. This engineer needs to fall back nice and early. Those two shots connected and killed him immediately. Let's say he needs to retreat back nice and early, and he didn't even have a chance to retreat. We do got two command points with the U.S. player. He does have a supply yard being built. Triage center has been pulled in the field. Ready to fight, sir. And now we're getting some reinforcements here and getting some much needed replacements and blood transfusions. Supply yard, is ready to go. supply yard now complete. Over here on the Panzer East side, of course, we got four Panzer Grenier. He did lose one. He still keeps... We trap buildings to confound the enemy. We would trap buildings. We know he went for Scorched Earth with the incendiary traps. He does only have the Kampfgroove Company. Oh, he is building it out. I thought it was already built out. He does have one squad of G43s, his first squad of G43s. And does he have base healing? This guy's pretty top of health. He's at four kills. Yeah, he does have base healing. Pins down the Flame Engineer. Very nice. Can't let that guy get close. Americans are seizing territory from us. And we do have another the rifle squad engaging each other, engaging the Panzer Grenadier, both behind some heavy cover there. This rifle squad advances forth and does have Vector C1, should be able to overwhelm the Panzer Grenadier squad of two squads, but he's gone eye to skirmish around, trying to catch up some points. Guy reinforcing Panzer Grenadier behind some light cover here. And we've got a Jeep coming in for a flank. Pennegrad, or Chimbogging, behind to capture some points. Rifleman squad moving around, trying to capture some points. Trimbogan has to say no damage right there. Panzer Air Command now to the field. Rifleman squad a little bit better than Bruce. Those Panzer Grenadier, it's a long, prolonged fight. And now we got this Trimbogan moving around, trying to capture up some points. And over here, we do now have a booby trap. This garrison right there. Does not okay. It was a layup in there. Does get a couple good detonations onto him. I am not familiar with him, though. Then again, not familiar, familiar with most players. A victory point from beneath our noses. Infantry section ready to and he detonated the booby trap. I'm pretty sure the booby trap our forward supply lines are broken. He activates or gets removed, right? Linger, completed. linger around a little bit too long. Ready there it goes. Now it's gone. I was a little bit confused at the moment. This building is now booby trapped. And if it wasn't made it obvious, he now it had made it obvious that he's gone for scorched earth. Not really. I don't have any uh, favorite players to cast. Generally, I do know some more of the experienced players, but I don't really have any particular person's two casts. I just prefer people not relying like exploits, such as like the pack abuse bug where you can rapidly rate of the rapid 
rate of fire pack abuse. Anybody who doesn't use, who can play reasonably well and don't use bugs, I'm fine with. And also I don't like exactly trash talkers or big complainers. The Americans are capturing a but as of any game, I don't like trash talkers in general. Apparently, people who trash talk, I hope they lose. We do have Incendiary Trap right there. This point's not being decaptured just yet. Rifleman, this guy may find the Incendiary Trap. He does find the Incendiary Trap there. And now got a 2 to 2, engage this Jeep at glorious close range combat. And now he's with the damage engine crit there. He's trying to get some damage on the other forces there. Rifleman may not have a sticky bomb available. Another 2 2 on field. He's trying to get the Jeep repaired on the field. Uh, that Kenneth Grant or Shinbagen could not have driven for like that. He may have queued up order to capture this fuel point. And he did not take out the Jeep there, so the Jeep has been saved. Damage from the rifle squad does get forced back there. I hear another armor car advance in four. Two two will find some good auto cannon fire onto the Jeep, or maybe not. He could hit that flame engineer. STG squad engaging the Greyhound who doesn't have armor scratch just yet. Received a bit of damage there by the STGs. We should see, yeah. Oh wait. Okay, yep, air armor scratch just got completed there. We've got 50 cal in the way. I got a little bit confused when I saw the 50 cal upgrade down here. We do now have a landmine being plot in field. No doctrine selected yet for the US player. Panda Shark now engaging the Jeep. Though it looks like he did roll a miss. It should generally one shot a Jeep. And such as low enough. Though then again, it could always be a random crit that saves him. And Grandier getting some damage there on the rifleman. Oh, and Petrick does roll a miss right there. Greyhound trying to dissuade, persuade that Petrick near nothing in the region. Was successful, does take another Jeep right there. It's got a tank plus a squad now pulling on the field. Burning there's three riflemen. Two to twos could receive a bit of fire there. One of them is open or slightly damaged, nothing too significant. Booby trap point right there. He does fall back nice and early and does void any explosions. And if he did get splashed, that can be healed up. All the shrapnel, the medics can the shrapnel out of your arms. And then kiss the boo-boos. Rifleman advancing on forward. There is a Panzer Grand Deer here. Not reading force and to, to will dissuade them from being in this region. G43 squared advancing forward. Booby trap right there. That could be very deadly. Okay, he does retreat back in time. If he really could have been a uh, bit nasty, he could have just suppressed the fire right there, slowed them down in the treat so they could hit, be hit by more by the booby trap. And it probably would not be worth it though. Shrimvagen may receive a bit of fire there. 2 2 is receiving fire. And he's going to go straight for the 2 2 2. Booby trap right here. Ooh, he does lose a model, two models there. Starting to decapture the point here. Panzer Gears could engage. We got contact! Greyhound moving way back, trying to get some fire support for the rifleman squad. Put it there onto the Panzer Grenadier. Does go ahead and get them next to the Flame Engineers, and the Panzer Grenadier is running away. Probably a good idea. Who wants to be around a uh, flamethrower? Losing ground out there. And 180 got now deployed on the field. SDG squad captured the center of the map. And, fence, and the Greyhound's providing some good fire support there. He's doing a good job with the boot traps, and maybe it's a good det detonation there, but I guess not. Look like a little bit of a delayed detonation. Grimwagen seeming mostly automatic weapons fire. The two to the twos in this region, a little bit damaged there. Mortar half track firing and a hurt defensive operations, which means infantry doctrine, right? Infantry selected, he's gone for the rifle deploy landmine line. 
good line. So he probably go for off a power shoot relatively soon. He does not have enough munitions there. Going for M3 half track. Very nice. Do we see a quad half track upgrade? Maybe just using for mobile reinforcements, which would be interesting. Two AT guns this region. We got the two to two space four. Can take a squad. Ooh! What was that? Was there a landmine there? There must have been a landmine there, but the two to twos were not did not triggered. M8 mine? Wait, no, he was firing, right? So he must have recently placed that one, and they were just sort of set up next to it? I'm a little bit confused exactly what happened there. All of a sudden, I'm just, the tank bus squad found a landmine, blew up, and did a lot of damage. That gray, the, must, the Greyhound must have laid down landmine earlier, and the 2 2 set up in exactly the wrong location. If you would have triggered it early with one of those two to twos, that part of probably would have been much better. Better. If they count all pull in the field, which is actually decent versus two to twos, if they were alive. Oh, uh, the mortar half track also go down. Yeah, the mortar half track is down as well. Half track does connect with the N8. The Pants League player is in a horrendous position right now, losing all of those vehicles. Observation posts report we are losing a sector. Landmine has been detected by the Schoenwagen. Another booby trap has been triggered somewhere. Looks like over here, rifle squad just paid a couple hits. And now got the G43 squad engaging the EU riflemen. Squad half track now engaging the Pantrick squad right from the squad behind him like cover. And he actually needs to pull out Rangers. Now have Rangers available. So he went for the uh, right from the landmines into Rangers. There's ground out there. Most time people go for off my power shoot. So we may see some riflemen, not riflemen, Rangers called. And he has enough manpower. Our front lines are Does have level one supply yard. Right now, I mean, maybe I'm for straight for the off-map combat groups. I'm not simply sure. He's in a good position right now. Doesn't really need M2s at the moment. While they would be nice, it won't be a mandatory. SCG squad does fall back there. Shimon Bogan may want to fall back as well. SCG squad will escape on there with two, one model. And let's see, let's switch over the Pansley player. Jump He's not in a great here. position. Got fresh to two. Jaeger command, command, he may need to get a martyr at the current rate. Booby trap has been triggered. The Engineers do avoid it. Let's see, no booby traps over here. Not one right there, not one right there. It looks like all the booby traps have been detonated, barring these ones in these structures. Maybe that's why he has this Pansley uh, player inside this garrison to lure them to a garrison. Oh, and that is Sector Artillery we are now raining on in. Maybe a little bit early for Sector Artillery. Because it was just a single rifleman in that sector. Oh! He lost a unit some- uh, his opponent lost a unit somewhere, I'm not so sure where. Let me just get some great damage there. Here's a ranger squad. Do we see Thompson? Does he suppress a fire? He can use fire it up. He still does receive a slowdown effect there. Thompson's being on the build queue. Capture complete. This point is army now. Rangers here! Yep. Hitting the AT gun, trying to destroy it entirely. That must be the unit he knocked out. Greyhound advancing on forward, rifleman squad engaging from long range, and Rangers do take up the AT gun. And now there's permanent reticle there, because I had a selective all switching players. There is the booby trap there. Gains a good hit there on the rifleman. The Rangers do fall back there. And we do have a martyr on field. Not something he really wants, but something he needs at the moment for hitting some of these vehicles. At a pretty good range, he can hit the quad half track. Quad half track still pulls a threat to it. 
I don't see even small arms fire pose a threat to the martyr. That's gonna go ahead there, damage and crit there onto the M3. Rolls a miss there. Panzer Strike Squad does fall back. And now the Mortar's gonna be firing some hot shots against the Flame Engineers. And now he's receiving shots there from the M180 uh, gun. And we still got sector artillery in this region. Finds a good hit there on the rifleman squad. Does fall back for now. Should be able to skip out of there. You two receive damage to crit there. And it looks he does manage to decrew the AT gun in time. Martyr should be bringing out some follow up shots there. Does get a good kill. Shimbogging getting overran. Does get suppressed in by the uh, G43. Still slowed, but fired up for prevent suppression there. Shimbogging does go down. Two two does go down. Hard half track tanks forward. It goes down. And got the Panzer Shark squad and the G43 squad falling back. Rangers getting some good damage down the mortar half track. Finds another shot there. He only has one bazooka up of going since he has Thompson's research. Those consume the other models' slot items. He can still pose a massive threat to those mortar half track. Getting some good small arms fire onto it as well. Bazooka connects. It's likely dead. Mortar now the next one. Receive some shots there. Does get a good hit there onto the Martyr. Our supply lines are broken. We have tension. Out of the enemy advances. Rolls a miss there. Hanshrek does get a hit there onto the Greyhound. And now the Martyr is slowly crawling away. SDG squad advance forward. Try to get some damage there onto the Rangers. Finds it there. Mortar half track starting to engage. Oh! There goes that squad. Thompsons do great damage, but now he's down to two Thompsons. No bazooka up and going. And it looks like a Shimbog may have went down there or something went down there. Right now the Panzer Elite Force is just disintegrating. He only has Pentrex squads remaining. Let's get the Greyhound though. But needs more AD infantry support. At this point in time, the yeah, two to twos wouldn't be half bad. Let's have one to two on the field. Martyr needs not advance forward. He is in true threat from the engineer. Small arm fires can penetrate the martyr. And there's a story okay, into crit there. Rockman is going to be focused on the martyr now. Oh, and that 2 2 2 got the kill on the martyr. And that's a big problem as well. 2 2 2s are pretty easy to do friendly fire damage like that. Him was not martyr is completely 100% his own fault. Pantrax advancing on forward. Pantrax squad captured this sector there. More half track running a little bit too close to the Panzer Grenadiers, but right now the Panzer League player is down to two, 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 three Panzer trucks and one mortar half track. He does not have enough munitions for sector artillery. Hmm, how many light vehicle carcasses? Good use of the landlines, that's for sure. I'm wondering as well, uh, he needs Panzer Support Command to get out Burke and Tiga. There's a lot of light vehicles he could potentially, excuse me, could, could potentially claim. At least a 2 to 2 and a Martyr. Mortar half track there as well. And my detonation there on the Panzer Grenadiers. He's credits there onto the Rangers. And there goes that mortar half trap there. Man get a short crit there on the armed car. And the Pansley player does back of the game. He just lost too much at one point in time. Dude does go down there. And that is the end of the replay. This is Android saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.